on embryo quality. So we then move on to the AI embryo selection. And of course, we have all been using morphokinetic grading for many years, uh, certainly even down the microscope, whereby we look at the number of cells, the fragmentation in the embryos, grade of the blastocyst in terms of the inner cell mass, perfectoderm, and of course, a lot of this work now is being done through time-lapse imaging. Many labs still use the human element to score embryos for these various parameters, including blastocyst uh, quality. However, equally, there are quite a few algorithms now that are being used to automate fertilization score, uh, day two uh, embryo score, day three embryo score, and also blastocyst uh, quality as well. And most importantly, there is a lot of correlation with various AI models linking to euploidy or ploidy of the embryo to give it a score. So the use of deep convolutional neural network and the use of polarized light is highly being used in a lot of AI models.